Hello everybody, Joe Barnes here and welcome to video two of your uh, fan page starter kit. Um, thank you very much. I've, I've got to start by saying thank you so much for all of the amazing comments I had on video one. I've been absolutely blown away by the response. It's been amazing. So thank you very much. I'm just really, really glad that you're getting some uh, real value out of it. And I really hope that you're going to enjoy today's video. It is it does get a little bit complex in, at points. Um, and I will try to slow down a little bit. Thank you, RJ Ross, for letting me know that I need to slow down a little bit so that you can really um, sort of ingest what I'm telling you. Uh, is that a word? Ingest? Digest? Um, but anyway, right in the middle of the video, because I've, I've done this a few times now, um, <laughs> right in the middle of the video, there is a point where you can pause um, and go off and get yourself a coffee and um, a bit of fresh air um, with, with, you know, without sort of losing your thread. So that would be a really good idea for you to do. So, as I said, I will try and slow down a little bit. The trouble is, is that I get very excited about it. And also, I'm trying to fit a lot of information in a very short period of time. So, um, without further ado, let's crack on and get straight on with what we're talking about today. So, today, we are going to actually create this landing page um, to go onto your fan page. Yeah? Um, and I want to show you two different ways to do it. I want to show you this form here, which is an Aweber form, which makes it incredibly simple. Um, and you don't need the template that I've got for you. You can do all of this on Aweber. And then I actually do want to talk you through the template that I've got to help you create a form like this with an image or a form like this uh, with a video. Yeah? On your actual fan page. Because unfortunately with Aweber, you're not, you can't put a video on the form but you can put a video anywhere else on the page. But anyway, let's keep it simple and just show you those two different types. So first of all, let me quick quickly tell you what Aweber is um, in 30 seconds or less. Aweber is an autoresponder. Um, and for those of you who uh, haven't yet used an autoresponder, it's, a, it's an amazing tool which allows you and helps you to create and build a relationship with your customers, with your database. Um, and... I think where a lot of internet marketers perhaps go wrong is they think, great, I'll get people to sign up, I'll build a list, and then I can send loads and loads of affiliate products out and everybody's going to buy my stuff. And that's not how it works. Um, the way it works is the same with on and offline business. Your People buy from people and your customers want to be able to trust you and like you and know who you are um, and know that they're buying from, from somebody that they trust. So what an, what an autoresponder does for you is it's like an email tool, it's a marketing tool that really allows you to be able to send them regular content, videos, newsletters, tips, tricks, updates, anything about your business that you think they're going to be interested in and really start to sort of create that bond between you and your customer. Um, and it does it, you know, you can set up your autoresponder sequence, you can set up emails for weeks in advance um, and uh, just send out every week perhaps a regular newsletter or a feature or something from your company. So it really is an amazing tool to, to, to create and build relationships with your customers. But the wonderful thing about Aweber as well is that you can build these web forms um, um, and this is one of them which allows you to literally take the code that Aweber gives you and load it onto either your landing page, your squeeze page or as we're doing here onto your fan page and uh, all for you. You don't have to know any of the coding so that's another fantastic um, thing with Aweber. Now um, below this video there is actually an affiliate link for Aweber, that's my affiliate link, so you can click through that to go and register with Aweber. It's a dollar for 30 days and then after that it's $19 a month so you can test it out for 30 days. But what I want to do um, is, I'm hoping I'm being a bit clever here, but what I want to do is if you sign up through my affiliate link, then send me an email and let me know. And what I will do is I'll get a bit of commission from that and I'm going to send that back to you, which means you're going to actually save a little bit of money on your registration. And the reason I'm doing this, and take note, I've learned from the best, Chris, if you're listening, the reason I'm doing this is because um, I'm doing what I'm teaching really I'm telling you that you need to create relationships and build trust with with your customers and that's what I'm trying to do with you guys so I want to create you know win-win situations now so that you really uh, know that I'm doing all of this with your best interests at heart so that in the future when I do come to you with maybe a product I've created or recommending something somebody else has done you you trust me you believe in me you know that I'm only going to give you stuff with really good value and that's worth a lot more to me than, uh, than a few measly quid I might make out of you signing up for Aweber right now. So, hopefully I might be able to, to save you a bit of money and, and, and we all benefit. 
Let's go straight over to Aweber now and I will show you, it's going to take about 10 minutes for me to show you how to set up one of these forms. So if you want to go and get a quick cup of coffee, now's the time to go and do it.